Right now we are going to talk about how God lives in a man. God lives in a man through truth and honesty. And we are going to talk about how we are going to break it down for you and explain how God lives in a man. Alright. Your body is the house of God. Just like how you live in a house. When the house dirty, you don't want to stay in there, you feel uncomfortable. When the house corrupt with, with anything at all where you don't like to see, you don't want to stay in there, you want to move to a cleaner house or a, a different place. It's the same way God don't want to stay in our body of a man, are close to a man where corrupt and dirty and bad mind and grudgeful and wicked and evil and lie. So, so God, the spirit of God, stick to clean hearted people who try to do the right thing and speak the truth and honest and kind. It is just like that. I have experience of this. From me a young youth, why me can't come tell you them thing I know. And no pastor, and no government, and nobody can't argue with me or tell me nothing different. Or tell you nothing different. Because they know it's true. God live in a man through truth and honesty. And God don't want to stay amongst dirty people. If your vessel not clean... God don't dwell there. If you're not a clean-hearted person that speak the truth and try your best to be honest and fair, God don't want to stay around you. The amount of money where you have don't make God stay around you. Because most people, most, I didn't say all, most people that have money do the evilest things. It's just like a man who murder people for money and him have a lot of it because him, him, him kill people for it and him do whole heap of evil for it. God no one stay. You think him have God around him? It's just like a man who just walk and can people and tell people lie and do all type of things for money. What you think? You think God wants to stay around him? God love a clean vessel and your body is the house of God. And when you speak the truth and be honest and kind, God love to be around you. And when you do the opposite, God run from you. 